Ram Bulchan Jethmalani, born the 14th of September 1923, Sindhi. Ram Jimlay is an Indian lawyer and politician. He has served as India's Union Law Minister and as Chairman of the Bar Council of India. He has represented a sweep of cases from the high profile to the controversial for which he has often faced severe criticism. He is the highest paid Indian lawyer. Ram Jeth Malani obtained LL.B. degree at the age of 17 and started practicing law in his hometown in today's Pakistan until the partition of India. He married Durga Jethmalani and later, his second wife, Ratna Jethmalani. The partition led him to move to Mumbai as a refugee and he began his life afresh with his family. He has two sons and two daughters, of whom, Mahesh Jethmalani and Rani Jethmalani are also well-known lawyers. He announced his retirement from judicial profession on 10 September 2017. Parvati came to his life at the age of 90. He was elected a member of parliament in the 6th and 7th Lok Sabha on a Bharatiya Janata Party BJP ticket from Mumbai. He has served as Law Minister of India and also as Minister of Urban Development during the Prime Ministership of Atal Bihari Vajpayee against whom he later contested election in the general elections of 2004 from Lucknow constituency. However, in 2010 he came back to BJP and was elected to Raja Sabha on its ticket from Rajasthan. He has been criticized as being opportunistic because of this. Jeth Malani is a well known face amongst the legal community in India. Even though his forte lies in criminal law, he has appeared in many high profile civil cases. From 1993 to 1998, he was one of the lawyers who represented Harshad Mehta during the Harshad Mehta scam and the Nursimha Rao bribery case. On 7 May 2010 he was elected as the President of Supreme Court Bar Association. Personal Ram Jethmalani was born in Shikarpur, Sindh in the Sindh division of the then Bombay Presidency, now part of Pakistan in the family of Bulchand Gurmukdas Jethmalani and Parbati Bulchand. He got a double promotion in school and completed matriculation at the age of 13. He secured an LLB degree from Bombay University with a first class first at the young age of 17. At that time, the minimum age for becoming a lawyer was 21, but a special exception resulting from an application that he made to the court contesting the rule regarding minimum age allowed him to become a lawyer at 18. He received LL.M. from Bombay University. Since Sindh did not have a university of its own at that time, Ram Jethmalani was married at an age of little above 18, to Durga, in a traditional Indian arranged marriage. In 1947, just before partition, he also married Ratna Shahani, a lawyer by profession. His family today includes both wives and four children, three by Durga Rani, Shobha, Mahesh and one by Ratna Janak. As a lawyer Ram Jethmalani started his career as a lawyer and professor in Sindh before partition. He started his own law firm in Karachi with his friend A.K. Brohi who was senior to him by seven years. In February 1948, when riots broke out in Karachi, he fled to India on the advice of his friend Brohi and when he came to India in that day he has only a one paisa coin in his pocket and with that note he stayed in the refugee camp for few days. Jeth Malani fought his very first case at the age of 17 in the court of Sindh under Justice Godfrey Davis, contesting the rule regarding minimum age passed by the Bar Council of Sindh. In a talk at Algebra in June 2017, Jeth Malani recounted his very first case fought in India as a refugee. 
A new law Bombay Refugees Act that had just been passed by the then Chief Minister Maraji Desai treated refugees badly and in an inhumane manner. The act treated refugees in a manner similar to convicted prisoners, allowing the state to relocate, sequester and question them any time. Jeff Malani filed a case against this at the Bombay High Court, asking the law to be declared unconstitutional and won it. Ram Jeff Malani next came to the spotlight a decade later with his appearance in the K. M. Nanavati v. State of Maharashtra case in 1959 with Yeshwan Vishnu Chandrachud, later to become Chief Justice of India. His later defense of a string of smugglers in the late 1960s established Jeth Malani's image as a smuggler's lawyer. Even back then, he would point out that he was only doing his duty as a lawyer. In 1954, he became a part time professor at the Government Law College, Mumbai, for both graduate and postgraduate studies. He also taught comparative law at international law at Wayne State University in Detroit, Michigan. He has also been the chairman of Bar Council of India for four tenures both before and after the emergency. He was also a member of International Bar Association 1996. He has also been Professor Emeritus at Symbiosis Law School, Pune since 2003. Topic: Politics. Jeff Malani contested as an independent candidate from Ulhasnagar, supported both by the Shiv Sena and Bharatiya Jan Sang, but he lost the elections. During the emergency period of 1975 to 1977, he was the chairman of the Bar Association of India. He heavily criticized the then Prime Minister of India, Indira Gandhi. An arrest warrant was issued against him from Kerala. It was stayed by the Bombay High Court when over 300 lawyers led by Nani Palkavala appeared for him. However the stay was nullified by the habeas corpus judgment additional district magistrate of Jabalpur v. Shiv Kant Shukla and Ram Jethmalani exiled himself in Canada carrying on his campaign against the emergency. He returned ten months later after the emergency was lifted. While in Canada, his candidature was filed from Bombay Northwest constituency. He won the election and retained the seat in 1980 general elections, but lost to Sunil Dutt of the Indian National Congress in 1985. In the 1977 general elections after the emergency, he ousted the serving law minister H. R. Gokul from Bombay in the Lok Sabha elections and hence started his political career as a parliamentarian. However he was not made law minister himself as Maraji Desai disapproved of his lifestyle, he became a member of Raja Sabha in 1988. He became the Union Minister of Law, Justice and Company Affairs in 1996 in the Government of India led by Atal Bihari Vajpayee. During the second tenure of Atal Bihari Vajpayee, he was given the portfolio of Union Minister of Urban Affairs and Employment in 1998. But on 13 October 1999 he was again sworn in as the Union Minister for Law, Justice and Company Affairs. However he was asked to resign by the Prime Minister following differences with the then Chief Justice of India Adash Sain Anand and Attorney General of India Soli Sarabji. It is believed that Jeth Malani never enjoyed the confidence of Prime Minister Atal Bihari Vajpayee. He was inducted into the cabinet on Home Minister Lal Krishna Advani's insistence. He had also announced his candidature for President of India stating, I owe it to the nation to offer my services, and launched his own political fronts. The Bar at Mukti Morcha, launched as a mass movement in 1987 and in 1995, he launched his own political party called Pavitra Hindustan Karagam, with a motto to achieve transparency in functioning of Indian democracy. 
In the general elections of 2004, he contested against Atal Bihari Vajpayee from the Lucknow constituency as an independent candidate. The Indian National Congress did not field their candidates in this election, however, he lost. Later on, in 2010, he was given a Raja Sabha ticket by Bharati Ajanta Party from Rajasthan and he was selected. He is also a member of the Committee on Personnel, Public Grievances, Law and Justice. Jethmalani is a person who is known to speak his mind. At a reception hosted by the Pakistan High Commission for the Pakistan Foreign Minister Hina Rabani Khan, who was on a visit to India on 28 July 2011, the former law minister and Raja Sabha MP Ram Jethmalani in the presence of the Chinese ambassador called China an enemy of both India and Pakistan and warned the Indians and Pakistanis to beware of the Chinese. In December 2009, the Committee on Judicial Accountability stated that it considered that recommendations for judicial appointments should only be made after a public debate, including review by members of the bar of the affected high courts. This statement was made in relation to controversy about the appointments of Justices C. K. Prasad and P. D. Dina Karan. The statement was signed by Jeth Malani, Shanti Bhushan, Fali Sam Nariman, Anil B. Divan, Kamini Jaiswal and Prashant Bhushan. <laughs> Expulsion from the party In 2012, Jeth Malani wrote to then Bhatia Janata Party BJP President Nitin Gadkari, accusing opposition BJP leaders of being silent against the huge corruption within the ruling UPA2 government, and stated that BJP is sick. Jeth Malani's letter became public on the internet, and in May 2013, BJP expelled Jeth Malani from the party for six years, for having made anti-party statements. In October 2013, defamation charges were framed against BJP seeking 50 lakh rupees $72,000 as null and void and damages for making a statement that he was not a fit person to be member of the party. <laughs> Defense of high-profile cases He has a number of high-profile defense cases to his credit as a lawyer, people involved in market scams Harshad Mehta and Ketan Parikh, and a host of gangsters and smugglers including the British citizen Daisy Angus who was acquitted of hashish smuggling after serving five years in jail. He also defended L.K. Advani in the Hawala scam. He was in the news for taking up the defense of Manu Sharma, prime accused in the Jessica Lal murder case, however, he failed to get Manu Sharma acquitted. He is going to be defending Lalit Modi, former Indian Premier League IPL chairman and commissioner. Defense of Rajiv Gandhi's killers in Madras High Court in 2011 Defended Indira Gandhi's killers, and challenged the medical evidence PMR given by T.D. Dogra on Indira Gandhi. Harshad Mehta's defense in stock market scam Ketan Parikh's defense in stock market scam Underworld Don Haji Mastan Defended death sentence of Afzal Guru Jeth Malani in his interview with Rajat Sharma in August 2013 said that he never took up the case of Afzal Guru. L. K. Advani's defense in Hawala scandal. Manu Sharma's defense in Jessica Lal murder case. Amit Shah's Gujarat's former Minister of State for Home defense in Sorabuddin fake encounter case. Amit Jogi's defense son of Ajit Jogi in the case of Jaggi murder Sanjay Chandra Bail in Supreme Court in 2G case Kulbushan Parashar Bail in Navy War Room leak case Kanimoji's defense in 2G Spectrum case 
YS Jagan Reddy's special leave petition on stay for CBI probe on money laundering in his companies. Yediarapa's case on illegal mining scam. A. G. Pararavalan, T. Suthandaraja alias Santhan and Sriharan alias Murugan, convicted in the Rajiv Gandhi assassination case. Ramdev's defense on use of force on the followers of Baba Ramdev at Ramlila grounds on 4 June 2011. Shiv Sainar's defense in CPI MLA Krishna Desai murder case. Asaram Bapu's defense in Jodhpur sexual assault case. Lalu Prasad Yadav's defense in the Supreme Court of India bail was convicted in the Fodder scam case on 13 December 2013. Subrata Roy in Sahara Sebi case AIADMK leader Jayalalithar, who had been convicted in the disproportionate assets case, in the Karnataka High Court AAP Supremo Arvind Kedriwal in defamation case filed by Aaron Jaitley on 9 September 2017 he announced his retirement from the legal profession. Topic: Awards and achievements. International Jurist Award, World Peace Through Law Award. In 1977, he received Human Rights Award instituted by World Peace Through Law for his fight against authoritarianism at Philippines. Topic. Books Maverick, Unchanged, Unrepentant, Rupa Publications Biography, Ram Jethmalani, The Authorized Biography by Nalini Guerra In April 2007 at the time Prime Minister Manmohan Singh released one of his books titled Conscience of a Maverick. Big Egos, Small Men, Haranan Publications Conflict of Laws, 1956 Justice Soviet Style The Rebel, a biography of Ram Jethmalani by Susan Adelman See also K. M. Nanavati vs. State of Maharashtra